Hello, you're joining Smooth Radio and we're here in the studio with the wonderful Lulu. How are you? I'm pretty good, actually. I mean, considering I've been around so long. <laughs> Welcome back to London. Thank you. You've been all over this week. Well, actually, I, 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 I was on tour. I was on tour with Take That for most of the summer and then I went to America and now I'm back because I've got my own tour starting um, in two weeks, less than two weeks. Very exciting. How was it reuniting with Take That? Very sweet. Very sweet. I mean, I have a history with those boys and um, we've all grown up. Um, and the, the, the tour that they did was phenomenal. And I have to say, I don't think I've had a better entrance or a better exit in my whole career. If you'd have seen how they had me come on, on that sphere, which was 50 feet up, and that was my entrance. And then my exit was by myself when they left me with these amazing lights looked like they were coming out of me it was just fabulous it was i had a great time and you know they're so sweet with me and we meditated nearly every day um are you going to take some of those elements for your own tour i don't think i can take the sphere in fact they said lou do you want to put this in your garden i said are you kidding how big was that <laughs> sphere it was like 30 30 meters wide 30, 30 meters wide or 30 meters bigger 30 metres, I mean, hum humongous. I said, well, what are you going to do with it? But no, that I won't be taking that. But certainly the, the you know, it was like, I want to rock out. I always want to rock up. My band is great, but this is a different tour because I'm going to be able to talk about my life. My team said, you know, you've never really, not really told your story. So I'm going to do it chronologically I'm going to start and, and not only that it's almost like a cinematic experience yeah, because I have screen right and I'm going to be my band is live and at 60 I'll have the 60s the 70s the 80s the 90s and the noughties and I'll go through the songs and you know the films the dance music the rock and roll the ballads the sad moments but mostly it'll be up because you know although I've been around the block and believe me there's tough times in everybody's life I'm going to talk really much more about the positive and the up but, you know, a few poignant moments, you know. But talk about the people that have inspired me, the people, that the amazing legends I've worked with, and the people that have inspired the audience too. So it'll be a bit of a journey. And, I mean, it's been 55 years since the release of Shout. Can you believe it's been that long? It feels like it was just yesterday. I mean, really. I, it's hard to, to think that those years have passed. They seem to have gone really quickly. But the good thing about it is I used to admire American artists who could speak very eloquently and articulate on on stage um, where I think the Brits were never as good as the Americans, although we've got much better. I realize now with all the experience I've had and the history, um, I have so many little nuggets to tell my audience, you know, from it's my side. It's time to tell it. Yes, yeah, it's time, time to tell the story. Yeah, really. And I mean, Talking about stories, we are in the era of biopics. Have there been any discussions? No, there's just been a few suggestions. You know, maybe there should be a musical. But anyway, phew, mm, no, not not right now. And anyway, there's a, it would be overkill, wouldn't it? I mean, Is you that think because of you Elton's wouldn't want amazing. to see someone else playing the part of you? or Oh, that would be funny. That would be <laughs> very funny. I used to think Jennifer Lawrence would be the one because, um, because she's, uh, she's so just adorable i like her but actually um michelle williams is the person have you seen uh fossey and um what was the wife's name bob fossey and but gwen verdon M michelle williams is unbelievable she doesn't have the yeah you know your name there she doesn't have that but she can sing and they could maybe i could work with her yeah you She's might have such to a great actress i'd love her to play me and in terms of music, was was there any artists that you'd still love to work with? I heard you Bruno really Bruno Mars. Liked... He's never turned up at my door. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you really like Lewis Capaldi at the moment. Oh, as well. my God, I love Lewis. Well, you know, there's many reasons why I love Lewis Capaldi. There's something about that kind of raw, you know, well, the day bleeds and the night falls, and you know, that kind of, that raw thing he has and yet he has a sweet part to his voice um but he's a very talented guy and he's scottish you know he's from glasgow you know i have a i have a, a real uh philly i feel i feel 
feel like I know him. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, Lewis Capaldi is a very young artist, but wasn't not as young as when you started. So what advice would you give looking back to your 15-year-old self now? Oh, to give Lewis? I don't think Lewis needs any advice from me. He's doing very well for himself, thank you very much. <laughs> but what I would have said if he didn't write his own songs... Well, what would you write... say to yourself as a 15-year-old? Oh, start writing songs. Start writing songs. That's a good question. Start writing songs now, Lou, instead of waiting till I was 40. Um, you know, but then, of course, I was quite lucky because Tina Turner did record the first song I wrote and it was a hit all over the world. But yes, he's doing everything right and that's what I should have done. Well, Lulu, we could speak all day. Thank you so much for joining us in the Smooth Studio and uh, for more exclusives just like this, visit smoothradio.com. Thank you. Thank you very much. Excellent.